Disagreement must not lead to disunion. And I pledge this to you. I will be a president for all Americans, all Americans. I can remember my mother, a sweet lady, looking at me after we left the hospital and saying, Joey, out of everything terrible that happens to you, something good will come if you look hard enough for it. She was right. to this day how stuttering felt, how dehumanizing, how embarrassing, how much it put into question, in my own mind as well, my capabilities. dad used to say, and I give you my word to this, he'd say, Joey, remember, a job's about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about your place in the community. It's about who you are. law school to Wilmington, to our county. It had gone dark. Dr. King was assassinated. Wilmington had been in flames. The National Guard patrolled the streets. And that turmoil inspired me to become a public defender. I was in Washington hiring staff. I got a phone call. My wife and three children were Christmas shopping. Tractor trailer broadsided in and killed my wife and killed my daughter. And they weren't sure that my sons would live. calculated this, 8,200 round trips, over 2,100,000 miles on that trip. This is not a referendum on whether or not sexual harassment is a grave offense. I said from the beginning, this is about whether or not sexual harassment occurred. I haven't always been right. It was a big mistake when it was made. We thought we were told by the experts that crack, you never go back. It was somehow fundamentally different. It's not different, but it's trapped an entire generation.
This is an extraordinary election. The American people are ready. I am ready. Barack is ready. This is his time. This is our time. This is America's time. My name is Joe Biden, and I love ice cream. <laughs> you all think I'm kidding, I'm not. The Taoiseach knows a lot about it. His mom uh, lived in, uh, in Long Island for 10 years or so. Uh, God rest her soul. And uh, um, although she's, wait, your mom's still, your mom's still alive as your dad passed. God bless her soul. <laughs> I gotta get this straight. I'll tell you what, man, I may be Irish, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> even more proud to be standing here doing this from the major Bo Biden facility. Ladies and gentlemen, I only have one regret. He's not here because he sh we should be introducing him as president. For the loved ones we've all lost, for the families that we can still save, let's make America the country that cures cancer once and for all. What do you say, Jeff? Joe, for your faith in your fellow Americans, for your love of country, and for your lifetime of service that will endure through the generations, for the final time as president, I am pleased to award our nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Look, everyone knows who Donald Trump is. We have to let him know who we are. We choose hope over fear. We choose science over fiction. We choose unity over division. And guess what? We choose truth over lies. This is the most unusual <laughs> campaign, I think, in modern history in that. Uh, but I start off with the premise, Mike, that I'm going to follow the doc's orders, not just for me, but for the country. After months of doing nothing other than predicting the virus would disappear, or maybe if you drank bleach, you may be OK. Trump has simply given up. You're the worst president vice... America has ever had. Hey, hey Come Joe, on. Let, me, let me just tell you, Joe, I've done more in in 47 months. I've done more than you've done in 47 years. This is America's day. This is democracy's day. A day of history and hope, of renewal and resolve. Through a crucible for the ages, America has been tested anew, and America has risen to the challenge.